The fact is that, that dolphins um, in the last, with long-term studies at places like Monkey Maya, for example, the problem the scientists were having was that they, it was very like Jane Goodall and with her chimpanzees. Jane went there, sat, watched the chimpanzees, and originally people were saying, Jane, you're seeing things that shouldn't be happening. She began to name her chimps, which is anathema to a scientist, but she said, I want to name them because these are individual characters. And what they're finding, exactly the same with dolphins, they're finding now that they've, they've been watching them for so long and they've got such a handle on their range of their behaviours that they can't explain those behaviours unless they invoke some very high-end human emotions and ideals. And these, it's interesting to see the terminology creeping into the scientific papers, which 20 years ago they wouldn't have been willing to say, but now they are willing to say it. So for someone to come along and say, I think we should have a bill of human rights for dolphins or animal rights for dolphins, it's, it's absolutely reasonable, absolutely reasonable. What makes me smile, <clears throat> what makes me smile is that we spend a lot of money and certainly get very, very excited about the chances of finding alien life on another planet. We've got the most intelligent alien animal right on our doorstep who is talking about things that we don't understand. I'm talking about dolphins. Clearly they're talking to each other at a really, really high level of communications. You know, orcas, bottlenose dolphins, Atlantic spotted, those species of dolphins, they have a culture a culture the same way as you or I would understand about a culture. High level of knowledge passed between the generations, down between the generations, tight knit groups, doing really complicated behaviour. Imagine what we would learn from them if we could speak to them. We've got an alien species right here and we just really want to spend the time and protect them and get to know them. That would be much better than going to Mars and finding a few tiny bugs.